Hey guys, and welcome back. Hope you've been enjoying this chapter as much as I've had recording it. It's been a lot of fun for me, I gotta say, considering how long it's been since I've actually been in the Nether. I'm surprised just how much fun I actually had. Um, I think we have done just about everything that we're going to, or that I am ready to do for the Nether at this point, anyway. So this is going to be officially the end of Chapter 8. And I know this is probably usually the time you expect me to say, and I'll be right back with your options for the next chapter, but for those of you who have been following me for a little while now, probably know that some changes are in order. So, but I will get to that in a minute. First off, I wanted to... Oh yeah, I was going to fix that. <laughs> um, first off, I wanted to say a big thanks to everyone who actually commented and left their opinions on the questions video I had for you guys recently. I did read them all, every single comment, and I have officially come to a decision, and like I said, I'll be getting to that. But before that, I wanted to also thank everyone for all the contest submissions I've been getting. Some of the things you guys have done with the base down here have been amazing. And as this is the end of Chapter 8, the contest is officially ending. Now, because I'm going to try and actually get this video up the same day that I'm recording it, I'll try and actually have it up later tonight, that rather than simply make the cutoff the second I hit upload on YouTube, I'm going to actually extend the contest to about 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Saturday the 4th, I believe. So you guys have until then to finish up whatever you're going to do with this area, and get it off to me by email, as I, that seems to be what everyone else has been doing so far. Um, let's see, something that has been irking me every time I have been editing an episode that desperately, desperately needs fixing is this. And I know a number of you guys have pointed it out as well. So, let us finally get that the way it's supposed to look. <laughs> Ah, uh, such a simple little fix, but, you know, that looks so much nicer. And I believe originally the dirt was right here, so I wanted to try that out, see how that looked, too. And the thing burned up. Okay. Ugh. And I'm still lighting the ground on fire. Hmm. Yeah, I think the torches look better. All right. Now, as I was saying, the contest, I have definitely been enjoying all the submissions, and I look forward to seeing what anyone else who has not yet submitted is going to come up with. Um, the reason for me extending it only until about 4 o'clock tomorrow is that I want to actually sit down and record the um, top three video on Sunday, so that way I can have that out for you guys nice and fast, and we can actually figure out who won the contest. Now, while you were gone, there were a couple tiny changes I didn't hear. I uh, finished the staircase, and I gotta say, I think this looks really nice now. Didn't go too far with it, it just, just about here. Just enough into this open area, so that way when we're ready to continue doing things down here, we'll have a starting point. Okay. Now that we're back out of the nether, I think this is a good time to give a couple of you some warning that this episode is probably going to be just me wandering around and talking like I've been doing. So if you are feeling a little bored already, you might want to just go ahead and skip towards the end where... Excuse me. I will have a little bit more information for those of you who may not be interested in what I'm going to be talking about. Hopefully you'll stick around, as I think this is information that everyone will be interested in, but, you know, just in case, throwing that out there. So, on to the questions video. As I said, thanks to everyone who actually left their opinions and comments. I have officially come to a decision, and I will be changing the format of the LP. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to fix that too. <laughs> I am going to be going to the more, um... Uh, how did I put it? The more freestyle approach, where I'll be running around doing all the things that come to me as they come to me, 
as opposed to waiting chapter to chapter to actually do something else. As much as I have loved doing the Choose Your Own Adventure with you guys, and as much as I've loved some of the ideas you guys have given me, um, there just came a time where I would be running around doing things, and then something would come to me and be like, ooh, I totally want to do that right now. But, as I've explained before, it, it just it didn't feel right jumping off and going and doing that. So, but I think going to this format is going to help a lot with just getting me all the extra enjoyment out of the game that I remember having from the beginning of this LP, not the beginning of Minecraft. Um, now, for those of you who I know, I got a number of you who said the only reason you watch me is because of CYO, and that you think it was one of those great, unique things within the Minecraft LP world. I agree. I... I don't know, I just don't think it was it was working. It's one of those things where... Yeah, it was nice for a while, but... I don't know, sort of all good things must come to an end kind of situation here. So I hope you guys understand, and that... Even though the format of the LP is changing, the world will still be here. I'm still going to be taking input from you guys, and I'm still going to be listening to everything you have to say, and there will still be animals in my house opening doors randomly. <laughs> Since we're here, I wanted to show you this. A suggestion from someone, oh, probably two or three chapters ago, suggested I turn this into a nice hot tub with netherrack. And now that we finally have been to the nether, I went ahead and changed things up, and I gotta say, I kinda like it. Anyway, as I was saying, for those of you who have said that you will probably stop watching, I ask, all I ask of you is that you stick around for the first few episodes of Chapter 9 to see if you still like what's going on, because as much as I'm sure you enjoyed the Choose Your Own Adventure style, that wasn't the only thing that kept bringing you back, right? I'm, I'm only guessing that perhaps you actually enjoyed some of what you saw. And that's what actually was bringing you back. Um, I don't know. Just a thought, and I hope you guys do give the new format a chance before you run off and un unsubscribe. Now, if you do do that, that's completely up to you, and I understand. This is You signed up for the channel for one reason, and now I'm changing the channel somewhat. So, I hate to see you go, if that's your choice, but if that's what you gotta do, that's what you gotta do. Now, as far as the other questions that I had in that video about LPing other games, I think I am definitely going to pick that up. And some of the first ones that I am trying to read my notepad from across the room and it's not working. <laughs> some of the first ones I want to do are definitely Portal, followed by Portal 2. Um, I recently bought Hydrophobia Prophecy as I saw a couple episodes of someone LPing it and it actually looked really cool, and I was like, let me check this out on Steam. Oh wow, it's $10? I'll get that. So, um, the graphics looked really impressive on that game, and the story seemed really cool, as bad as the voice acting seemed to be. So I will probably be getting into that at some point. Um, some other games. Well, we will see how I'm feeling after I get those three out. Or if I change my mind somewhere in the way. In the middle, I should say. Um, now, I will admit, recently I have fallen victim of the Terraria bug, but I don't believe I will be LPing that game. Just based on all what I've done in the game so far, it does not seem like a very LPable game, as for the most part it's just digging and spelunking, and sometimes, I don't know, just, just from what I've played, you can only show so much of that, so I would think you could only get a few episodes out of that at a time. So what I think I might do is uh, one day take you guys on a little bit of a tour of my world and possibly just record some of the boss battles. Um, nothing much. It won't really be an LP. It'll just be some featured videos. Uh, let's see. Ah, yes. The next item was whether or not to actually start LP in console games. Now, a lot... This comment actually came up a lot, and it was that you guys kept saying... Why bother with console games? PC games are where it's at, and it's all just the same, and even better sometimes. Just upgrade your equipment, and you'll be able to run any game you want. Things along those lines came up a lot. 
Now, something that maybe I didn't make entirely clear before was the reason that I suggested to become, do some console L LPs was uh, I did mention my backlog, but I don't think I quite made it clear enough that part of my reason for wanting to LP some console games was to help work off my backlog. As I am currently sitting right at my desk here with about 15 games in front of me that I have not even opened yet. <laughs> so I would definitely like to get around to playing some of those. And I think that you guys would probably definitely enjoy watching me play through at least a few of them. As I've got some good ones that I want to get to at some point. Um, for example, I have uh, 3D Dot Game Heroes. Uh, let's see. Batman Arkham Asylum. Assassin's Creed 2. I'm thinking about also doing uh, Final Fantasy X-2. Possibly Bayonetta and Wet. Um, some of these games sound pretty old to you guys, but that's just how long I've had these games in my backlog for, and the desperate need for me to actually get around to playing them again. Oh, uh, it's gonna be fun getting back up. <laughs> um, so, I was wondering if you guys could, uh, based on this new information from me, what you think about me doing console games again. Um... I'm, I think I will go ahead with it, but I just kind of wanted to get some more input from you guys based on that. Because it's... I, I'm not suggesting to do console games for the sake of doing console games. I'm suggesting it because I have a lot of them around that I want to play. And I was just wondering if you guys would be interested in watching me play them, or if I should just go ahead and play them on my own off-camera and maybe let you guys know what happened. Maybe not. I don't know. So, I believe... Well, there was really one more question from the video, and that was uh, suggestions for video cards. I saw a couple, and uh, the Dazzle came up a couple times. And while the Dazzle is a nice and simple device, I'm definitely looking for something that allows me to continue recording in HD. Especially because all of my consoles are HD capable. So I wanted to keep that up. Especially because I've been uploading this LP in 1080 from the beginning that I think it would be kind of weird for me to just cut back and start doing 480, especially because of the way um, YouTube actually goes and re-encodes your videos after upload. You might think that you're saving space with a 480 video, and it looks fine on your computer, but when YouTube sees a 480 video, it actually goes and reduces the quality, I think, what was it, by a factor of four or so, as opposed to a 720 video. So, as much as I've been rambling, yes, I, I, I would like to stick with an HD video card. So if anyone out there has done some research or has looked into these things for me, or could look into these things for me, I would definitely like to know what you guys have found out for reasonably priced video cards, video capture cards. And I believe with that, that basically takes care of all the questions from the questions video. And so, as I have said many times already, I wanted to thank everyone who left feedback on that. And I believe one of the last things I want to do while we're in this world is remind you guys that I do indeed have a Twitter account. Not because I am trying to get you there to follow me or do any of that sort of craziness. Um, I didn't open the account to get followers. I probably shouldn't have come in through here because I can't get back up because of the ladders. I... Open the account because, as I said a number of episodes back, probably in the last chapter, that it would be a nice, convenient way for me to keep you guys up to date day to day, as opposed to having to go and check my YouTube channel page, which I don't update very often. It's just a way for me to get quick updates out, you know, for example, oh, hey guys, I, I just sat down to record a video, or hey, I just getting shot by a skeleton. Oh, and I'm gonna die. Oh, <laughs> crap. That's what I get for showing off. Um, yes, as I was saying, for example, oh, hey, I'm, I'm now rendering the video. Hey, I'm now uploading the video. Yeah. You guys will notice we're back here again. As I mentioned in a comment a while back, I decided to destroy my bed and put it in a chest 
on the second floor every time I use it, so that way we can actually come back and have a use for this building again. As much as I like beds for the convenience of making it daytime again, and possibly becoming your spawn point when you're way out there, I still gotta say, I, I feel almost like a Minecraft purist in a sense, that I like the original spawn point. I like the idea of this is this one point in the game that you can secure it or and build near it, or you can build way far away and then you get the fun and thrill of trying to get back to your stuff every time you die. Anyway, back to what I was saying about the Twitter thing. It's really just a way for me to keep you guys up to date. Another, for example, would be, say, oh, sorry guys, something came up and I'm not going to be able to get an episode out to you because of, you know, XYZ. And that's, that's really all that's there for. Follow me, don't follow me. It's just a place that you can go to get that kind of information if you're wondering, what the heck, Nocturne hasn't uploaded a video in like a week, what's going on? That, that's where you can go to find out what's going on. And for those of you who really, really hate Twitter, and I can say I don't blame you, I really, really hated Twitter myself about three months ago, um, you can actually go to the website, and I've got a little Twitter plugin for the WordPress that actually has all my tweets showing up right there on the web page, so you don't have to actually have to follow me on Twitter or even go to the Twitter website. It just pops up right there, and you can get all that information nice and quickly, and I hate the way you get stuck on glass. All right. Did I get everything? Okay, good. And I suppose one last reason you could follow me on Twitter if you were so inclined. From time to time, I do announce little... Uh, excursions, little adventures that might happen. Something that uh, we have affectionately been coming to call SMP Weekend. Now you guys might remember the SMP world that I've mentioned in this LP a couple of times that I have the private server I have that I sit and play with my friend every now and then. We just run around and go spelunking, do whatever. Well, recently I have been sending out tweets and saying, hey, the first five of you to uh, respond to this by sending me a message on YouTube, you guys will get the chance to join me on that server for a weekend of awesome SMP fun. And just last weekend, we had our second one, our most successful so far. I think there were probably eight of us on there from, from time to time. And we just had a whole lot of fun. And what I think I'd like to do as I believe this video is kind of short, and if it's not, whatever, I would like to go ahead and show you guys a little tour of the town that we have. So, without any further ado, let's jump right into it. Alright guys, I would like to welcome you to the SMP town. The town doesn't actually have an official name yet, which would probably be an interesting thing for us to come up with for SMP weekend number three. So, Right now, we are here in the main house. This is the one that I built in preparation for welcoming everyone to show up. As you can see, everyone has a chest, a set of furnaces, and a workbench to get them started. And you can actually see here some of the names of the people who have already joined me for SMP Weekend number one. And all the others you see will be the guys who have joined for SMP Weekend number two. Uh, I gotta say, we had a ton of fun, and I will be showing you some of the houses here in a second. As you can see, we still have a little bit of space left. Oh, okay. Some of my friends actually decided to <laughs> claim some chests for themselves. Nice. Okay. Um, Robert Dole, if you're out there, I'm sorry for kicking you off the server, but you were being a huge, huge dick that night. So your sign is going away. Sorry. Uh, for those of you who were there on the server at the time, you know exactly why and what I'm talking about. And out here, I picked this place because I really, really just love this lake right here. It looked like the perfect place to just start building. Uh, while I was offline doing something else, I think I was preparing some episodes for Chapter 8 for you guys, someone actually came in and built this awesome path here. And it leads to everybody's house. 
I think we will start off here with uh, Mr. Zero 404s. Hopefully none of you guys mind me show giving you guys a little tour of your places. We've got the lovely giant uh, skeleton in something. Paper boat? Slipper? I don't know. <laughs> But we have him. We have these pictures. They're, they're very nice. Back here, we've got a room that I believe he's going to be using for storage or a bedroom one day. Continuing right along, we have up here, Fidri's house. Some of you might know him better as Pentium Wet Wired. Another guy with a Minecraft LP that started similarly to around the time I did. I think somewhere around Chapter 2 or 3 he got his LP started. and. He's got some pretty good stuff. You guys want to go check him out. Got his little hovel. I love that he's calling this a hovel. As well decorated as it is. Um, I think I want to come back here and show you his amazing storage room. Just look at this. That's, that has got to be the most space efficient design I've ever seen for storage. I love it. Okay, and up here I believe we have Mr. Freemax's house. Although most of us came to calling him Freeman. Some of them, sometimes Gordon. I, I don't know why, but you know. He's got a nice little house here. I, I believe, I, I'm not certain here, but I believe he stole some of my TNT to actually cut out the hole he ended up using for his house. Yes, hello, cat. <laughs> but that's okay. I, I forgive you. Don't, don't do it again, in case that is where my TNT went, because... I know that the uh, the hole down here definitely looked like it was exploded. <laughs> anyway, I believe we got a, a nice little sugarcane farm here. Possibly a, a map farm kind of thing. Gotta say, I love his infinite spring here. It actually extends under the chest and into the wall. Really nice design. And something else I really like was the fact that he's got his chest and workbench right here in the water for instant food from his farm. Really like that one. All right, and we are now coming up on De Bomb's house. One of the uh, guests from SMP weekend number one. We ran out of time, so he didn't quite get his house completely finished, but I think it's a pretty nice design. It's, it's got room for a lot of improvement, and I'm pretty sure he'll be getting to that if he ever makes it back on for SMP weekend number three. I don't know, it's just one of those random contest type things. Let's see, over here we have the beginnings of a house that I have absolutely no idea what is going on here. All I know is it's mossy cobble, and I guess somebody ran out of mossy to actually continue. And I gotta say, after playing so much SMP last weekend, sitting in single player, as it was getting night, I was like, oh, I need to make a day again. I was like, oh, crap, no, no, that's just an admin thing on multiplayer. <laughs> now this one. I have absolutely no idea whose house this is. I have a guess. I think it's one of my friends. As this was not here at the end of SMP weekend and just appeared the day after. So, let's find out. <laughs> no sign, okay. Ah, okay. Sarah's. Cool. Well, I gotta say, I really like this design, too. It looks really nice with all the, uh, the log on the floor. Hmm, what's down here? Let us find out. Hmm. Nice. Yeah, she's always been really ni good at uh, designing things, I've noticed. Huh. Does this lead where I think it leads? I have no idea. <laughs> anyway, let us move on. Alright, as we're coming along up the path again, just up from the main house with the giant tree farm on top, we're going to come up here on Beeworth's house. He generously built us the most amazing diamond mine shaft we have ever had anywhere. So I think I wanted to show you that first. Ah, interesting. Someone changed my design slightly. 
cool. <laughs> a little irritating, but works pretty well. Yeah, Mr. Worth actually carved this entire shaft out all on his own during SMP weekend number one. And during SMP weekend number two, we spent a lot of time branch mining, as you can clearly see. I'm not entirely sure on the final diamond count that came out of this thing, but I know for me, I personally pulled, I think, 20. Just from, I don't know, three or four times down in here. Branching and mining and all that good stuff. So, this has been a great help for us. Go ahead and jump back up here to the top real quick. And I will take you on a quick little tour of his house. Okay, and here we are. Very simple, nice little upstairs living room from the looks of it. I like it. Got your bookshelf here. Got your lovely couches right here. And downstairs, we've got a very nice, generous bedroom with accommodations for guests. And here we have the storage room. A very nice design, if I do say so myself. I like the way this one looks. This bothers me, but I know it's necessary because of the ladder. Um, I like the look of the furnaces. I don't know why, but seeing furnaces built in the wall is actually kind of a nice look. Alright, here we are at probably the, I don't know if it's the most or the second most impressive building structures I've seen built all of SMP Weekend 1 and 2. For sheer height, definitely the most impressive. This is RTL Shadow's house, with the giant tower and the giant lighthouse that uh, I eventually fixed the lava up top because I have those fun admin powers. <laughs> Here is his awesome little mob trap. Pretty much just anything that's here falls in and will drown. Very handy design. Down here, something that took us a long time to figure out, was how to actually get both of them to open at the same time. Not many of us are very good with redstone on the server. Or I don't know, maybe that's just me. <laughs> so this down here is where we have the actual drowning trap. And through there is actually the collection area for any drops that you get from the mobs. Now there's one thing behind me that I'm sure you just caught a glimpse of that I will definitely be showing you guys in a second. But there is one more house I want to show you guys that I think is really cool. So let me head on over to that and I will let you guys see. Here's a quick little outside view of the area. It's very nice. I'll rejoin you guys when I'm up there at the front door. Alright, and here we are at HC Blue's mini castle. I gotta say, I don't know why he calls it a mini castle. This thing is enormous and amazing. So, let us jump in here. Got our nice little tree farm down here with, in my opinion, a little too much dirt, but if it's an aesthetic thing, it, it looks really good. It works. Out here is the tower he completed in the last few hours of SMP weekend number two. Something very impressive. I've actually managed to jump off and kill myself from the very top. That was a lot of fun, especially since I have my spawn point way back at the original spawn for this world. That was a nice walk. <laughs> anyway, up here we have the second floor, and then we have the roof. And I gotta say, like I've already said, this is a really cool castle, really great design. I think you did a really good job, HC. I like the openness of the tree farm. It lets the trees grow nice and big. And let's see if the clouds will be a little forgiving. We can get a nice view of the town from all the way up here. Hmm, not as clear as I was hoping, but you can kind of make out the lighthouse, Sarah's house. That is the main house right there. Um, something right there that I will mention to you guys after we go into this next area. So, I will meet you over there real quick. Okay, so, just kidding. <laughs> Sorry. I was going to show you guys what is in this amazing lighthouse tower, but I realized I have left out somebody's house. So, we need to check that one out 
also really cool design. Um, just sort of a modern architecture look that I have not seen in Minecraft in person, well, ever, and I love it. I know, some of you guys are really great at making some really awesome designs in this game. So, let's see if I can remember whose house this was. Oh good, he, he left a name on it. Um, what? <laughs> There we go. Avast! Okay, that's not his name. I don't know. Is this Pirate's House? I mean, that would be my guess. I'm not sure, though. Uh, what was funny is it really pretty much started off as just this little 2x10 right here. And that was it. I noticed whoever this house, whoever's house this is, I certainly hope you help me out in the comments section by letting me know that uh, he has eventually expanded both up and down, it seems, with all kinds of cool stuff. I really like this view right here at uh, the lake level, and that you can actually kind of make out the towers from here. It's a really cool view. Very nice choice for a window. Okay, guys, here we are at the tower. Now, what is this tower for? Hopefully this gives you a little bit of a clue. <laughs> Let's jump down and find out. So, given when the SMP weekend number 2 occurred, happened to coincide right around the time of the 1.6 update. So, what do you guys think we decided to do that SMP weekend? Oh yeah. We went and had some nether fun. And here we go. This is the Nocturne Portal in dedication of SMP weekend number 2. I might be changing the name, give it a little more Latin feel to give it that whole evil, hellish kind of feel to it, you know, maybe Portalis Nocturnale. I don't know. That's what I've got right now. Let me know what you guys think. Especially those of you who had joined me for SMP Weekend number two. So let us jump in here, and I will show you guys what kind of crazy fun we had in there. All right, here we are in the nether safe house on the other side. Alright, this actually went up pretty fast, although not nearly as fast as the glowstone disappeared. I gotta say, you guys were ravenous wolves as soon as we got here, like, Oh my god, lightstone, 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 musket, 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 <laughs> That was awesome. Before I knew it, it was all gone. Anyway, we've done a bit of work terraforming the area, making it nice and livable. Someone actually went out of their way and put us a nice tree farm in here. And these things, I gotta say, grow pretty well in here. Alright. Some uh, lava pool decorations I've added. Uh, this one actually for a while served as a zombie pigman hot tub. They really seem to enjoy just hanging out in there. Seemed nice and comfy to them. Over this way, we've got a nice little walkway leading to a bridge that I made slightly more necessary with a small addition. For those of you who missed that last time you were on the server. There we go. Actually goes all the way out. And I think I will be showing you guys what that looks like from the bottom. Hey guys, what's up? Like the cobble? Yeah. It's cool stuff. Okay, here we are at the bottom. You can actually see a little bit more of the craziness we have done out here. Uh, most of this was actually RTL Shadow, and I believe a little bit of Fiji helping out. Just building the basic path. Then Fiji and I came by and actually put the railings on, because the guests were just incessantly blasting the crap out of us. Anyway, now that we're down here, I kind of wanted to show you guys the result of that new lava river uh, that the bridge now go goes over. So, this is where it lands, and this is where it comes from. It's actually really impressive looking for a lava fall. Get out of my shot. <laughs> okay. Well, I think I have taken up enough time on this tour, guys. Hope you have enjoyed what you've seen. I hope it uh, convinces you to possibly um, check me out on Twitter. See if maybe you can join in on the fun. Again, I'm 
only doing this stuff on Twitter because I think it's a nice, convenient way of communicating to everyone all at once. And SMP Weekend was my way of saying thank you to everyone who has decided to actually follow me and keep up to date with me that way. So, I wanted to thank you guys once again for watching, commenting, rating, and doing all those awesome things you guys do. I hope you guys keep it up and keep being just as cool. And I will see you guys again in the next chapter.